two games on the first Saturday where there was no meaningful football, and at least things worked out for one team in the nation's capital. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Gray at Howard University's Bird Gymnasium, where the Bison seemingly have turned the corner. Well, if not, they're definitely at the end of the block. The Beltway Sports Report is next. Georgetown had hoped to carry the momentum from a win over Rutgers into their matchup with Cincinnati, but they came out flat, and Coach John Thompson III sent a message to his starters by benching them in the first half. The Hoyas blew a 10-point second-half lead, but still had a chance to win at the end of regulation. But DeWan Summers draws air for the three, and we go to overtime. In OT, the lid closed on the rim as the teams missed all 11 of their field goal attempts. But the difference was the Hoyas went only three of six from the charity stripe while Cincinnati missed only once. Austin Freeman with a last drive to the basket and no foul call. Georgetown falls for the fifth time in their last six games and the Bearcats cap a regular season sweep with a two-point win. Meanwhile, there was extra enthusiasm at Howard as they tried to make it three in a row against Maryland Eastern Shore. The last man to take the Bison to the MEAC Finals was back as Coach Frankie Allen looked for answers to shut down his last recruit remaining at Howard. Eugene Myatt scored a game-high 22 points and was 11 for 11 from the free throw line against his former coach. It was strange, but it's good to see him. I haven't seen him in a while, so it was good to see him. UMES got a monster game from Neil Pitt, who scored 18 points and ripped down 17 boards, but it wasn't enough. Howard gets 14 points and 7 rebounds from Cal Perry. And Curtis White knocked down 3 of 5 from downtown to chip in with another 11. Gil Jackson's Bison win their third straight, knocking off Maryland Eastern Shore by 7. Well, I think we're, we're progressing. Um, what we're trying to do is get to the upper half of the conference. And we've had some home games, so we want to try to hold, continue to hold serve at home. That does it from Howard. I'm Mark Gray for the Beltway Sports Report on Sports Group TV. Now some of the flavor of the bison and the hawks at the burn.